How's it going, guys? In this video, guys, you're going to see me getting Twitter Herbivore. Now, I must say, the time in this video that I actually got Twitter Herbivore is like eight minutes in the video. So I'm just going to put it at the starting of this video. And then, you guys, if you would like to continue watching the rest of the video, you may talk about a few things in it you guys might be interested. Um, but yeah, the side I'll put next clip, me getting 200 mil herb, and then the video will start. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the video. That is a lot of fucking fireworks. All right, guys, how's it going? This will be my 200 mil herb lore video. Finally, I have achieved it. Um, I'm gonna quickly tell you guys something because I think this is pretty crazy. As you guys saw my video the other day, uh, by the way, thank you very much, guys, for the great ratings on that video. It took a little while to put together, I guess, a, you know, the 20-minute long one. But thank you very much for the great ratings. It was nice to see that. Definitely worth the amount of uh, time, I guess, it took to put it together. Oh, look, I still does say it. So I want to show you guys something. As you guys know in that video, I mentioned how basically if you do play for 30 hours, you can pull pretty close to 80 million herbivore experience in a day. Uh, well, the player called Drowns has actually basically done it. Um, he did pull 71 mil herbivore in a day, as you guys can see right there. That's the current top 24 for uh, today the top 42 right there, go to Herblor. Um, he was able to do pretty damn close to it, which is, uh, I would assume he probably did 30 hours of overloads uh, without really wasting too many ticks like I am right now. Uh, I, I have been doing this method for the entire day so far, just the plus button. Um, I don't think it's that much more, that much less, I mean, than the method with the Yak. Uh, but, I mean, this is a lot more relaxing. But, yeah, anyways, I, I talked to Drowns just for a few minutes in his clan. Uh, I wanted honestly him to have the rank because I mean looking at that that's pretty crazy that someone can pull 71 mil herbivore in a day basically 35 something 35.05 mil in a day uh, without the full bonus I guess with the you know, double experience but I mean it's really nice to see um, and he is currently right now basically above me for the one rank um, but yeah I thought I'd show a little respect and say hey man take that rank because he's 50k off and he's just kind of been sitting there for a little while. But I must say, if you guys are ever to make a lot of overloads in one going, uh, definitely think about just doing the plus button. I mean, as you guys can see, the inventory is a lot. I mean, it's pretty damn quick, but it's way less annoying than using the yak method. Sometimes I hate the fucking yak method, mostly because you don't really know when it's empty. You only know whenever it's empty whenever you try to take more out, and it doesn't give you any. You have like two sets of uh, overloads still ready in your inventory, and it's like, fuck, I got a bank. Um, but I don't like using the yak method that much. It only makes you an extra one per inventory. Uh, but it takes a little bit longer to take out the supplies. You gotta right click, click two five on every single potion, as opposed to me just kind of tapping the plus button twice and getting out four. Now another achievement that I kind of got today as well was I went back to the uh, single digit rank, as you guys can see right there. I am rank nine right there. Um, I believe I still am. I don't think I was too far. Yeah, I still am rank nine. Uh, Elvis is like six mil behind me I believe and the person behind him is like over 100 mil behind and then like 200 mil behind for the next person so uh, yeah pretty okay lead for right now I don't really think Elvis is planning on coming back anytime soon so I probably will stay ranked 9 for quite a while I don't think anyone underneath me will pass me besides maybe a few people that have like all the slower skills that are down there um, but I would assume some of them had mo have money issues as is uh, because right now it's really expensive to do all the buyables that's why you gotta do a buyable and bonus experience I mean if you're if you're poor you gotta somehow, if, you know, because I mean, normally a bonus experience weekend is like announced like two weeks or so before um, it even happens. I mean, that's when you gotta either collect your charms or um, just start collecting money and, you know, train a viable because you will save so much money. I'll take an example. I think one of the most expensive viables is like uh, crafting with dragon stones, obviously. If you guys have uncut dragon stones, I think you lose around 6k for every single one that you cut. And I think you get like a little bit less than like 400 experience per. Um, that's uh, with the double experience though. So I mean, 400 experience, you know, you're, you're basically getting yourself like a good 180 experience or something like that, 100 and something experience. Let's just say 200 experience in crafting you're getting for free because it's double experience. Um, with that method, I think crafting is like 50 GP and XP. So every time you cut a dragon stone, you're basically saving yourself, I think like 10K. No, it's, it's a 1K or 10K. Either one, I mean, you know, the amount of, I think it's 10K actually. Each time you cut one dragon stone, you would save yeah, you would be saving around 10k. I think one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Can't talk while doing this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you save like at least five to 10k from each dragon stone that you cut, um, and then you know you can cut. I think it's like six thousand an hour or some shit. So you basically save yourself thirty mil an hour doing crafting uh, on double experience weekend if you do that method, which is a lot of money, obviously. There's also been a lot of people that got Twitter World summoning, which you know is no surprise to me at all. Uh, very fast Twitter World, obviously, if all the charms banked. Uh, I like skills like summoning, to be honest. I like when you can 
you know, it takes a while to prepare for the skill, and then whenever you finally have it done, it's just like boom, bunch of experience. I think that's really cool. It's it's kind of like herb lore. You know, you make the extremes, and you know, it's a little bit slower. And then when you start making the overloads, it's just like huge XP uh, drops you get, obviously. But uh, let me see how many people now have 200 more summoning. So I'm currently ranked 27 in it. I could have been like ranked 15 in it if I actually decided to use my charm whenever I had it banked. Uh, but now there is 51 people, almost 52, almost 53. Okay, what the fuck? Like five people have like 195 million. Is this like one clan right here? You guys are all just chilling there fucking saying we're legit. One, two, three, four, five people that are just about to get it as well, it looks like. So that'll probably be some time today or tomorrow. I bet you all those people probably ran out of charms and like, oh crap, I, I gotta go collect these charms to get myself to it. I would laugh if that's your situation right now. Because uh, that'd be really annoying knowing that you're that close to that many more ranks. But you got no charms and underneath there it's... That is crazy. What's top 100 in summoning? How much experience do you need for top 100? 128 million summoning is top 100. That is crazy. That skill, if we have one more bonus experience weekend, like double experience weekend, I think top 100 summoning will be officially gone by then. Which is quite crazy because I think top 8 summoning was open for fucking years. It only recently just opened up. I mean, I, I recently got 200 mil like a few months ago, maybe three months, four months ago, and I'm ranked 27 basically. So top page is just recently gone, and now there's already, you know, fucking top 100 is that much experience. It's crazy. Anyways, as for what's next, guys, I really haven't decided what I want to do. I'm kind of debating between, you know, going for the 120 stats, uh, where I have three stats left, um, or just kind of grinding out a few 200 mils that I have that are kind of close, such as like mage, fletching, um, I still have a little bit of today to still do some fletching, by the way, for my bonuses. I mean, double experience is still here for like basically like another day. Um, but tomorrow, I don't think I'll play as much as I've been playing the past two days. But this is kind of like a little break day. Not, you know, the last day to me is always like, uh, you know, you can you don't have to know life. But you can kind of just relax a little bit. I mean, all the hard shit is done for me. All the overloads are done, basically. So that's good for me. But yeah, the last day, probably tomorrow, you know, I'll probably just mix it up between uh, doing some fletching, maybe some bonfire fire making with the elder logs that I have in my bank. Um, and just kind of just mixing it up, I guess, and just enjoying the rest of the day or the rest of the experience, I guess, for the weekend as well. But um, yeah, so I haven't decided yet. You guys will probably see sometime in the future. Um, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm in the agility mood, but I, I don't really mind agility at the moment going for level 120. It, it really is not that bad when you get double experience in it whenever, you, whenever you're training because obviously of the BA bonus right there. Um, it really isn't that bad. I mean, it's, it's doable for me, which is really surprising to me because it never was. I always hated agility as a passion. Anything I got was always, always used on agility uh, because, you know, the less amount of agility I do, the, the happier Alcan is. Anyways, rank 9, though, I believe. Uh, I think this is the best rank I ever got to besides whenever Divination came out. I got to, like, rank 4, I believe. Um, I don't really count that as, like, I've been to rank 4 once because that's, that's, you know, after a new skill, it doesn't really count until, like, the next 3 or 4 months. But, um, yeah, I think rank 9 is the highest uh, like, or a rank I've ever been to and stayed at for a little while. Uh, and most of that's because I went to 07, I think, whenever I was ranked 9. I think when I think I was ranked 9 whenever 07 first came out, and then I went back to like 11 or 12 or 13 or something like that, uh, and now I'm back at 9. Now, hopefully this time, hopefully this trip back on the, uh, you know, top 10, I don't end up stopping for any other reason, uh, you know, besides like I'm quitting or something. I will try my best to have no distractions, like, you know, playing a lot more old school on this account, or, um, I don't know, starting up my newbie account and getting like 99 stuff on that one. Uh, I will try to stick to this one, which uh, right now I am enjoying anyways. Fucking, this is so hard to commentate while doing this. I know I fucked that up. Or maybe not. No, I missed the whole mage? No. What did I miss? I missed something. I know I missed something. That looks really odd at inventory. I can make two of them. Okay, whatever. Anyway, just give you guys an update on the herb lord now. I am 150. That's, that's it. That is so fast when you actually look at the experience when you're like 300k away, 400k away. Um, as you guys can see, though, I'm running out of overload, so I'm going to have to probably make some extremes. Probably just make like 30 extremes of each, and then probably just make the overloads, I guess. So, yeah, my attacks are just about to run out. But anyways, I'll see you guys when I get 200 mil. I'm going to probably put 200 mil herb lord clip at the start of this video. Uh, just because this video kind of dragged on a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I was going to make like a quick two-minute video, 200 mil herb, talk about what I'm doing next, and that's it. But... You know, as normal, I always end up kind of dragging it along. I know you guys like the longer videos anyway, so you know what? Here we go. All right, guys, and here we are with exactly one inventory left, which is my overloads right here. All right, here we go. I have my sounds on, I believe, so you guys, I guess, will hear the fireworks once I get. Let me turn this up a little bit.
That is a lot of fucking fireworks. Anyways, thank you very much, everyone, for the congratulations. Uh, I believe that is my 12th Twitter mail now. I should probably log out before. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he'll be getting any time soon. But thank you very much, Drowns, for the extra rank, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really care too much about it. Uh, I thought he definitely did deserve it, though, because of how much he's done today. It's quite amazing to see. Anyways, thank you very much, guys, for watching the video. I will see you guys, I guess, sometime later on tomorrow. I'm just going to be fletching for right now. Quick little update, by the way. I'm making dark arrows. They're a little bit better than making broad arrows, and I think they're around the same price at the moment. Uh, after I say it's, it's totally not going to be the same, and I just fucked up the whole method for everybody. But anyways, that's it. I only have like 50000 to make. It's just a tiny bit faster. Um, since my fucking XP thing is glitch right now, you guys can't even see how much experience I'm getting as a drop. But, uh, I think it's like 247 XP drop and broads are like 225. So it's about 10% faster, I guess. Not a big deal. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, I guess give it a big dick like if you guys watch the whole